Hello world, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. Today we are going to learn how to create user login, user sign up and logout functionality in Django. So Django comes with user model which provides us user authentication system. So we will use this authentication system in this video. So let's start. So first of all, we will open our project. I will open my application views.py file and create a function user register. So uh, first of all, we will we will perform user sign up functionality. So what will we do? User register. So register request. Render request register dot html. We will create a separate separate folder for this registration. In registration folder, we will create a register dot html. So what here we will create templates. And in this templates, we will create registration and register dot html. And here we will do register user. So we have created a template. Now we will show the form. So how we will show the form? So Django provides us user creation form so we will import the package django dot contrib dot auth dot forms and import user creation form and now we will form equal to user creation form and now we will pass this form in our template so form form and show the template in our register in our register template show the form in register template actually method equal to post action equal to empty and csrf token and here we will show the form so here what will we do form dot as b and after this input type submit so here we have created that now we will create a url for this so open our url file and enter path and here i will set the url accounts register and views dot register name equal to register now we will do and let's check the template so this is my home page i will perform the login logout functionality here so i have created this make it simple so let's check the form register so let's check this return actually So here you can see that so Django provides us this kind of form so this is basic form in this form we have an input password uh, username password and password confirmation so Django provide this form we will add a heading here register form 
register form now we will perform the user uh, register functionality save in database so what will we do we will create a if request dot method equal equal to post request dot method equal equal to post then this form equal to we will pass the posted data in this form and check if reg form dot is valid if this form is valid then we will save this form we will save this form and now here i will import the from django dot contrib import messages and i will show the message messages dot success request user has been registered okay so now we will check this in our register form uh, we will check this in our register form add here if messages and if for message in messages and for p tag and get the message so let's save the data in database so john 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let's submit this form so here you can see that message shown user has been registered so let's check this in admin so i have opened the admin in other browser and i will go to the users uh, model and here you can see that we have a we have a new user its name is john so here you can see that we have a so django provide these fields first name last name email address and in the user creation form django provides us only three fields so we will discuss how to extend this and how to show all fields all fields in our next video so i will uh, i will keep it simple and uh, perform the basic functionalities so now we have uh, created our sign up functionality now we will go to our login functionality so before login functionality we need to set up a few things so what will we do we will open our project level setting file so in project level setting file we need to define login redirect url what it mean it's mean when a user successfully log in then where it should go so i will i will redirect on home page and similarly we need to define lo log out functionality so i will go to login so this is setting uh, this is a uh, uh, small things we have uh, set up in setting file now we will open our project level urls file so here what will we do here we will add so please uh, i want your attention accounts here i will add accounts and here i will include django dot contrib dot dot auth dot urls okay so now so with the help uh, after the including this 
we can access the login functionality with this with this kind of url login so now when we load this it's saying that we have no login template so it is saying that template does not exist so what will we do we will create a login template in our registration folder so login.html and i will copy this registration template and in this and here i will put the login user login form yeah so this will be okay now we, i will read at this so you can see that where we have a so django provides us login form so now i will perform the login functionality and after the successful login it will uh, redirect on home page so here what will we do i will add so please enter a correct username and password so it is it is saying the error so we will do the so it is redirected on home page now we are showing a two links here login and register but now because we have logged in we need to show logout link so what will we do we will go to our home page and here we will add here we will add if condition if user dot is authenticated then then it will show the then it will uh, i will also add here else if user authenticated then it will show the logout link else it will show this login and register link so here i will put the logout link uh, the logout link so this login logout link provide provided by django so what will we do here we will put the logout and here we will put login and register we have created earlier so here i will put the register so i will put here register okay now check this so now you can see that we have already authenticated so that it is showing logout link now when we click on the logout then it will uh, redirect on login page so here you can see that we have successfully created our login logout and sign up functionality so if you like this video please share subscribe and comment if you have any suggestion for my improvements for my coding or communication improvements so please suggest me in the comment Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.